Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Napoleon Total back with some more Shogun 2 after our battles. And today we're going to be having literally a 3 v 3. Um, yeah. Um, once again, for those who don't know, I am bringing, uh, uh, this is my traditional army, as you can see by the blue and black. Um, this is a very traditional army, as a matter of fact. I only have a few guns, and they're mostly Shinsengumi Police Force. But I'm going to slow this down, and um, once again, this battle was pretty close. Um, with, you'll, you guys will eventually see. Uh, this battle is also known for me because I did an uphill charge, but uh, once again, you'll see about that later. Um, so in terms of army comps, I have some pretty terrible units in the front lines. I have some Azura Dragons, uh, Shogun unit, um, Shinsengumi Police Force, and they're actually pretty good in melee. Or some more Shinsengumi Police Force. With some um, more Shinsengumi Police Force that I've given, given upgrades for reload. And finally some more Shinsengumi Police Force. I, behind them I do have some Katana Samurai, uh, Katana Kachi, my bad. Um, with some more Katana Kachis. And behind them I have this reserve unit of Nodachi Samurai, or Shogun Natai. I do have the General, which is right here. Actually no, I don't have, I have my General right here. And yeah, he's going to be a traditional general, as you can see by the horse, and um, armor. Well, he's wearing a Shinsengumi outfit, but yes. Um, and I do have a whole bunch of Yariki. I do have two units of Boki. Uh, so, Bokachi, my bad. And yes. Uh, going left, I'm going to be talking about Spice Merchant, who's going to be deploying some Black Bear Infantry. Some more black bear infantry along the entire front lines with some mixed with some red bears, um, with some toaster riflemen, and some more toaster foot riflemen, and some more toaster riflemen with some black bear infantry and stuff. He does have this artillery piece, which is right here, Armstrong guns, in, and behind them he does have he does have a massive swarm of um, Shogun Guard cavalry and some more Yari cavalry in the mix. With some general, with a general. On the right, we have Mido Streamer, and he's bringing um, what looks like a, another Shogun themed army with uh, his clan. He's literally being the Aizu for those that play Shogun 2 campaign. You know what I'm talking about. Follow the Samurai, of course. Um, he's bringing some Shogun Tai with some Shogun Guard Cavalry in the mix. Um, he is bringing some Spear Levy and some. a pretty traditional army, I have to admit. A lot of, a lot of units. And so yes, and his general's bodyguard, which is right here. Where's his general? His general is right here, actually. Uh, once again, a pretty good suit of armor. So we're gonna actually gonna press play, and this battle is gonna be uh, going pretty. Fa oh shoot! Um, I forgot to mention the enemy player. The enemy player is gonna be Shagibera. His team is the uh, the red team, and he's bringing a lot of Yari key in the mix. He does have some more bow key, and uh, up here he has some spear levy mix of with Toyota police. Mix them with some more Koyota, Koyota, Koyota Police. Mix them with some um, Shogunate Guards. Shogunate Guards and Shogunate Guards. He does have a few units of Tissa Riflemen that are hiding in the forest. This player, the Hunter, is going to be bringing a lot of Red Bears, Black Bears, and White Bears. With some Royal Royal Marines. Pretty good looking in uniforms. And some Saber Cavalry with some more Black Bear infantry and um, some more... Some more... Some more Red Bears and Black Bears, and yeah, some cavalry left and right. He does have an entire line of Toaster Riflemen. And finally, we do have uh, Haldit, who is bringing White Bears in the front lines, um, with some Black Bears and Red Bears. On the flank, he does have some Toaster Riflemen, with some um, Shinsengumi Police Force, not a bad choice at all. And he does have some Infanterie de Marine, on a war of 150 range, with some Red Bear Infantry. And some more red bear infantry with the general, which is right here. Uh, we're actually going to press play right now. And um, the, the attitude for going for me is, for me, I really want to capture this dojo. Because it increases the morale of all units. And um, yes, that's that. Also, my entire army is pretty much made up of traditional units. So I don't really have a choice of deciding whether I can charge in. I have to charge in at that point. But yes, these guys look pretty interesting. Um, yes. I'm going to move up my Bokachi, Boki, up. Um, this unit has uh, Whistling Arrows, so um, I'm going to use this eventually on the enemy. 
and this unit is gonna be moving against my enemy. We're gonna be capturing this dojo. Um, Mido Streamer is gonna be sending his Shogun and Guard Cavalry, and he's gonna be literally charging uh, this entire line, which is I, I wouldn't really do that because literally Shogun and Guard Cavalry is extremely expensive. He is destroying his Saber Cavalry, but um, I decided you know what, screw it, we're just gonna charge, and um. What you see me doing right here is moving my um, line infantry as literally meat shields. And you see that happening right now with these guys just getting gunned down, but it's 100% fine. Because my, my the main threat, for for those who haven't realized, is this, is this massive swarm of infantry, of sword infantry. Also to make the situation even better for me, uh, while we are some of our guys are starting to waver. Um, uh, the enemy is going to be using suppressing fire, and uh, most of the frontline units are getting wrecked, but it's 100% fine. My guys are actually getting fired upon now, and that's unfortunate. Um, I have actually started to fire um, whistling arrows, so that's great. And um, no, haven't we? No, we haven't. Um, we're actually going to be charging in towards the front lines, and yes, yes, we're going to be charging in the front lines, and it's not looking good for the enemy. Actually, no, it's not looking good for me. My bad. But on this side. Uh, my men are routing, and I'm. Uh, we are getting friendly fire. But however, on this side, we are doing a lot of damage. And this tree line is the most tenuous of this entire situation because, um, at this point, I have committed my shogunate guard. Um, not shogunate guard. I have committed my um, shogunate, and they're going to be doing damage. My boat, uh, my boat Katanakashi are going to be firing at this massive lob. Um, they are vulnerable, especially to this cavalry force, which is going to be hammering, doing hammer and anvils, especially on this Nogashi Sam. Uh, Sugar tie, uh, but however, these sugar tie are up to 17 kills, which is not, which is terrible, considering the fact that they are so expensive. And um, we are going against this red bear infantry. On the other side, we're wrap. Uh, our guys are our our my sword infantry. I just reached uh, the Armstrong gun, so we're going to be taking that out. And we're actually going to be charge, continuing to charge against the Royal Marines. Um, on this side, we're actually just going through these guys like a hot knife through butter. But the only problem is that, um, yeah, the only problem is that, um, the enemy have more troops lined up. This is an uphill charge, and on the other side, it's not looking so well for my little streamer, who's literally getting gunned down by Che Guevara. However, it's not looking so well for me either, in the sense that literally my cavalry is literally charging into this Toaster Rifleman. One is going to be charging into this Toaster Rifleman, the other is going to be charging on the flanks of this infantry, the Marine, and we're, hopefully we're going to rout them. Um, the enemy's gonna be popping naval bombardment, which is not a terrible choice. But, um, on the other side, it's pretty calm. <laughs> Our side is just getting, we are absolutely massacring the enemy. Uh, Royal Marines are officially in combat, and they're not doing so well against my, um, uh, essentially, your, essentially Katana Samurai. But all, all, on the other side, our guys are just literally swarming into the mass enemy ranks. And so yes, that's that's that. Uh, Mark, this Shogun and Tai unit has already gotten under 71 kills. It was the one that literally got flanked. Uh, you, you guys also have to remember this one. They're now uh, uh, 131. Uh, our guys are still going to be charging no matter what the circumstances. Because the enemy has starting to line up on this hill. The hill is not advantage for them. Is not, uh, they, they don't have really a big line of sight. But remember, all this entire time, I'm just literally charging uphill. So, speed is not all my favor. Um... Yeah, my little streamer's army is, uh, is pretty much lost. Um, I'm gonna be sending some cavalry to essentially take out some... Well, I was about to charge um, at some, some people, but I decided not to. Um, elsewhere, our, our guys are just literally victorious. As you can see, the amounts of dead. Oh, he ordered a naval bombardment here, but he didn't really kill all the people. Well, um, we basically blasted through the center, and now I do have some uh, remaining line infantry that has, hasn't really done much. Um, 31 kills, losing, yeah, but they, these guys were meant for meat shields. And they're just gonna be firing up on this sector. 
Um, my cavalry is going to be hunting down this Imperial Guard cavalry, and um, we actually, with the support of the infantry, um, some Black Bear infantry, we are actually able to do that. Our um, our samurai units are going to be eventually are going to be facing um, Shigeberu's army, and um, I'm going to use this hill to calm things down. But Shigeveru is gonna be uh, trying to, um, gonna be like opening fire with his guns at literally point blank range. But our guys are also gonna be coming into the field. My army is extremely exhausted, so I'm not gonna be playing the game of let's charge them head on. My general is the only one as that's still fresh. Um, my entire my entire army is pretty much destroyed. I do have these three um, cavalry units right here, and I'm going to charge them downhill against one, the general, and two, the Shogun Guard cavalry. The reason why I charge the Shogun Guard cavalry is because I realize that if I charge the general, he's uh, uh, he's obviously going to send in his Shogun Guard cavalry to support. So why not just uh, charge front? Uh, we actually get a pretty good charge off the field. It was fresh. Now they're not fresh. The general is getting charged, and the general is starting to realize the problem. So he's trying to get out of there. Um, I, re I really wasn't focusing on this fight, so I just carelessly sent in my infantry. And so yeah, and my units get shot away. But um, the most most interesting thing is going on this side where um, where I'm actually going to be charging some Shogun Guard infantry. Um, I thought Shigeveru's army looked pretty destroyed. And because he doesn't have that many units, all I have to do is charge this unit. Uh, ends up it wasn't the case. And you'll see why in a few seconds. We're actually going to be charging into the Shogun Guard Cavalry. Uh, Shogun Guard Infantry, my bad. Uh, we're going to be deploying some Whistling Arrows. And to my surprise, there was a unit of Tissel Rifleman in this forest line. And at this point, I was like, yeah, it's not really worth it. I'm going to call the retreat. They, these guys are going to be shot. But it's alright because it's, it's not that bad because they are in loose formation. Um, and I do have to inspire them. 74 kills. Um, on a unit from 90 something now to down to 74. And we really haven't killed that much of the, sh um, the enemy. Yeah, at this point, this entire battlefield is starting to quiet down. I'm gonna be moving these guys back. Because the range on these Tissot Riflemen are pretty dang insane. So I won't be doing much. Um, I do, s I still have some Shinsengumi Police Force that I haven't, uh, used up. During this battle, I was trying to tell um, Merchant, Spice Merchant, to move his guys up on this tree line and start opening fire. Um, some of my men, men are hidden, which is not a bad sight. Uh, but the problem is that they've just been discovered. The enemy general is just gonna op pop here and open fire. The thankfully it's only a unit of ten, the eleven, my bad. But um, he's going to be very cheeky with his um, Shogun Guard infantry. I'm going to slightly move back. And I'm actually going to... Where's my general? Oh yeah. Um, he does... Shigeveru has this unit of Shikishin Ninja. So I decided to just have my general just charge in. Uh, we kill 14 at, at the loss of 2. Not that bad. And this Kishin Ninja unit is routed. I'm actually going to be fire arrows into these uh, Shogun Guard infantry. But the main attraction is going to be on this side. And... Uh, and yes, um, this unit of Black Bear Infantry is dangerously getting surrounded by some Shogun Guard Cavalry, but um, there is a return for that in terms of, of our Shogun Guard Cavalry is going to be facing against the enemy Shogun Guard Cavalry. And it's not looking pretty for our side at first, but it's not going to be looking pretty for them. It's actually quite even, 64 against 60, 26, but our superior cavalry is going to take the day. And yes, um, on this hill, this is essentially a pretty good defensive position. However, on this side, um, our guys are just blasting the heck with these Tosa riflemen. And at this point, this side looks to be very, very, very weak. So what am I doing right here is that I'm just buying time. Um, I decided to go for an all-in charge. One, because um, I wanted to really test out the numbers. And two, there's nothing really left for me to do. And I wasn't... I was pretty sure that my these guys, uh, after being rested for a while, are going to be pretty good. Um, and uh, you'll be disappointed to see how wrong I was. Um, these guys just get absolutely destroyed. Um, I'm going to be sending in my general to hunt down the enemy general. 
Uh, these should gonna tie do a, a little better, but still not the best. They are getting literally shot by the, um, the Imperial Guard infantry. They are charging up um, uphill, and this thankfully this Imperial Guard infantry decides to retreat because if he didn't retreat, I will have a hard time. My general is gonna be coming around and gonna be coming up the hill and then gonna be charging down the hill. But um, needless to say, my my ship. My sh Shikana Tai is going to be charging into this massive lob of uh, Tusa Riflemen, um, Imperial, Guard in Imperial Guard Infantry, and some Shogun Guard Infantry eventually. Our guys are actually doing pretty well, and we're just going to be charging down the entire hill like fanatics, literally. Um, I'm going to have my general charge the um, charge the enemy general, and um, what I was really trying to get here was have this entire army just get routed. But um, the enemy finally decides to stand their ground against uh, against my guys. They're not going to do so well, but uh, my guys are pretty tired. And so it's going to be looking pretty good for my opponent. We do, um, both sides are starting to route, but my guys um, at 30 men are still going to be charging down the hill. Uh, this unit routes, which is unfortunate. However, I just killed the enemy general. And I'm just going to pop Banzai on my general. And we're going to be literally charging into some closer riflemen. Not a lot make it on through the charge, only two left, one of which is my general, and he's going to be fighting to the last man. Um, yeah. And the second Bunzai wears out, he's going to die. He's going to rout. He's already wavering without Bunzai. And my general routes. Um, this battle at this point is looking pretty... Bleak. Um, Shigavir only has one Shogun two Shogun Guard infantry and one Tosa Rifle. I have this Archer unit which will eventually come back and these and these two Shinsen give me please for us. I'm massing all fire on one unit, so literally I can get as many kills. Um this this unit actually fired um whistling arrows, so that's gonna be great. However, the enemy is gonna retreat to the safety of their Tosa Rifleman, which is unfortunate because I do I do not have 150 range. Um Tosa Riflemen do, and I don't. And I decided to order the retreat because I, it's not worth it. Because the main attraction on this side, which doesn't look so good for both sides, um, both sides is just like a slog, and um, shots are literally being fired at point blank range, um, which is not really worth it for this toaster rifleman because toaster rifleman is not really made for point blank range. Not to mention the fact that um, Heldat's units are spread. Not that thin, which means they can't they can't all be firing. And yeah, this doesn't look good for Heldat. Um We're just gonna or I didn't really pay attention to this side because um, on this other side. I was just trying to rest up my troops and um he was Shigavera is going for this dojo. My guys were out of ammunition. I decided, you know what, screw it, we're just gonna charge them in. And uh, Actually, no, we still have some ammunition. After that, after th those volleys, uh, this unit is going to be out. But yes. These these units getting 76 kills, but the... Yeah, this unit is out of ammunition, so I'm just going to have, have them capture the dojo. After they capture the dojo, I'm going to be using stuff. Doing stuff. I'm just going to be delaying the enemy, essentially. Um, I've been telling... I've been telling Spice Market to move this one unit of Black Bear Infantry to help me, but for some reason he's not doing that, so that's weird. Um, the Hunter still has this unit of White Bear Infantry here, with um, and it's going for the Armstrong guns. Um, Spice Merchant is going to be taking the Armstrong guns. But at this point, the battle has died, so I'm just going to... Well, the battle has, has been quiet, so I'm just going to fast forward. On this other side, once again, is a game of cat and mouse. Um, I once again, I've tell, I've been telling this guy to move his black bear infantry, but he hasn't. And on this side, is just literally like, huh, interesting. Literally, stuff is going on, and not a lot interesting. But at this point, we both both sides realize that this hill 
is more than important in the sense that uh, whoever takes this hill, whoever wins this battle, wins the entire match essentially. On this side, I do have some Bokachi that is out of ammunition. I'm going to be catching this dojo. Um, I also have this, these two Shinsengumi Police Force lined up just in case that the, if the enemy um, decides to come. So yes, he's eventually going to come and as a matter of fact, he's going to get a volley off. Um, as you can see, how he got his volley off was essentially he had fire through these covers, which to my surprise, they, most of these shots will be definitely headshots. Like, yeah, I'm in a shot dead, but there's nothing I can really do about that. I'm going to um, put them out of loose formation. And uh, I'm gonna learn my lesson by I'm gonna learn my lesson by I'm gonna be putting my guys here now. I wonder if these guys can go into this house. That's my question now. But um, once again, if the enemy comes two kills, I'm just gonna charge these guys, and I'm gonna be moving guys on this ridge to open fire. On the other side, um, I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, the enemy is going to be attacking, so we're just going to fast forward to see how that went. Because at this point, whoever wins this side wins. Um, the first volley is off is by Helldat, but um, they're going to be returning fire on Napoleon's Revant Corps, Infanterie de Marine. Wow. You think I would be feeling <laughs> troops led by Napoleon? <laughs> but yes, um, this entire force of Red Bear Infantry is going to be moving through this forest line, and um, well, apparently what's going to happen is these guys are going to hold this entire sector, and this entire flank just smashes through these lines and then go. F and yeah. Needless to say, um, both sides are just going to be sitting around. Uh, finally, he moves his Red Black Bear Infantry, and we were just like saying, "Okay, sure." And yeah, that's that. You can see the remains of some of my general units. But yes, there's nothing much going on, and on this side, the entire enemy army has just collapsed. All resistance, what resistance there is, has ceased to exist. And finally, on this side, yeah, the enemy just routes, and that is the end of the battle. Um, so yes. Um, it was pretty hard at the beginning because at the beginning I thought my army was gonna mass route after those few units routed. And um, it was an uphill battle literally for me. And uh, Mido Streamer, he got the bad end of it, I got the better end. Um, so yes, that's that. Um, I deployed 24,000, most half of them were meat shields. I've only killed um, 14,000. And Mido Streamer did well, uh, 13, deploy 14, uh, killing 1300, but Shea Guevara and the rest did pretty well. Spice Merchant did particularly well for the losses and death ratios, but that is it for this battle. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Now before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I would be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out, so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.